So this is B12. B12 is a very straightforward block. We've got a four and a half inch square and then applique shapes on the X. So there's five appliques and one square. So very straightforward. So here I have my pieces. I'm going to base my square and this. I'm going to make sure that I maintain the curve here. I don't need to notch it like a normal inside curve, but I do want to make sure that I push and, and uh, base this really, really tight. So I'm going to do opposite sides first and then the other opposite sides. These I'm going to base like I normally base my footballs, gathering stitch, come back on the same direction and thread based, and then do the other side. So let me get these basted and then we can go from there. So I've got all my pieces basted. I've got my footballs and this is my center square. And this is my, obviously my four and a half inch square. I've already gone ahead and marked it with white pencil. I would use some kind of a pencil that's going to show on whatever color fabric you have. Do not use a friction pen on dark fabrics because when you iron it off, it will leave a white mark. That's, you know, then if you did that already and you've run into that, there's a product called Synthropol or something like that that can remove it. But don't be using friction pens usually at all on fabrics because if they're cold enough they will come back even on light fabrics. So the next thing to do is to place these on the line and in the exact corner and get these in position and then I can position my my square or maybe I want to do the square first. I'm going to do the square first. That way I know what's going on here. So I can do the square, make sure that all the four points are on the white marks. So I'll get that stapled and then I'll put my footballs on. So I positioned my pieces and stapled them down. They may not look exactly where they need to be. What I did is as I was placing them, I would pull this tight to see exactly where the paper was so that I would put the point where it needs to be. So now when I applique, I can get this tighter where it needs to be and uh, it'll look a lot better once the tags are hidden. So I'm gonna go ahead and applique this down. So I finished my applique. I made sure that this black, these two were touching because if you get a gap in there, which there's a little gap in here, if you get a gap in there, it'll look weird and it'll look disjointed. So I did actually do a stitch around the point of this and the point of this to pull them together. So that really did help that look. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my staples and my basting at this time. So I've removed all of my basting and my staples and now my B12 block has been completed.